So I wanted to make a video tonight, you know, I was feeling uh, like I needed to get what needed said out there, and what needs said today is how to do template inheritance with HTML files, and I'll show you what that means, and how it can make our lives easier with our web application. But just before we get started, I'm going to do my own little self-plug. Um, thanks guys for everyone that's subscribed in the past couple weeks. Uh, it's It's been going up. We've had the most views and watch time of all time, and I appreciate that. And if you like this kind of content, don't forget to hit that subscribe and like. Um, and that's that's all of the plug that I'm going to do as of right now. But what are we going to do about template inheritance? What does that mean? Well, it all follows the, the, the premise of the acronym DRY which in programming means don't repeat yourself. I fall victim to repeating myself probably more often than I even realize, um, but it's something I try to avoid, and this is one way that we can try to avoid that. And basically what it means is we have this base HTML file with stuff that's going to be in all of the different views of our web application, and then we just change, in our case, maybe the body um, that is what changes with each individual view. And it has the same skeleton no matter what that, that page is. And this will probably make more sense um, once I, I get one going. So in the templates folder, I am just going to create a new file. And this is just going to be called base.html. This is going to hold our skeleton, if you will. I'm just going to copy this part from doctype HTML to the head closing tag and I'm actually just going to cut that I'm not going to copy it. I'm going to cut it I'll paste it here and then at the very end we will take that HTML tag okay so this has our bootstrap and um, the title may change and we'll talk about variables as well probably in another video this will probably take more than one video to go through the whole thing um, we're just going to put title here for now. And so what I want to do is I just want to create some kind of navbar as well. And where I'm going to get this navbar is actually from Bootstrap. I like this one right here. We have this navbar, and then it has a few things defined, um, which is fine by me. I'm just going to copy this, and then we can alter it as we please. So here's our nav. And... I think I should be able to. Let's see if I can cop or open the path and just open that in um, Chrome just to look at. So here we go, base HTML. Let's go ahead and open that. Always open with Chrome. And here we go, we have our nav bar. Cool. All right, and something else I want to do with the nav bar. I really like they have like a dark navbar and bootstrap. Let's see if I can find that. This guy right here. I really like how this one looks. So if we do navbar, navbar dark, and that's in the nav tag. So I already changed navbar dark and then dark. Cool. So now we have it look like this. I think this looks cooler than the, the light background. Personal preference, of course, you can change it uh, if you're following along. But I just have that nav bar so we have something to check as we inherit stuff. And then down here is actually where we're going to put a placeholder for what we're going to include in this template when we uh, have other HTML files that are going to put something in here, right? something in the middle. And so to denote that this is going to be a placeholder, we're going to use these squiggly braces, or whatever you want to call these, um, curly braces, and then two uh, percent signs, both at the front and the back of this, and then block is the keyword, and then whatever we're going to name this block. So you can name it like your mom, or you can name it content, which I think is a, uh, <laughs> I think it's a more common uh, block name. And then basically we're just going to do the same here, and then in the middle we'll type and block. Okay, so this is the content block, and then I will show you what that looks like in HTML files that will inherit this, and then put their content right here where this content block is. 
Okay, so now if we go back to login.html, at the top here, I am going to put, I'm going to put those squiggly braces again, more percent signs, and then in the middle of that, we're going to put extends, which basically means inherits, and then the HTML file that is our base HTML, which we named base.html. Okay, so that just says, okay, we're going to use this as our template and just to kind of let it know that. And then down here, above and below our body, we're going to say that this is the block of the content, right, that we made the placeholder for. So block content, and then I'll just copy this to make it easier. Delete content and type end block. So now the theory is that if we load login.html, it's going to have that same form that we saw that we made before, right? But now it's also going to have that nav bar. So let's see if that even works. Let me bring up Python and start running this locally. Um, I need to cd into Python. And then Python, oops, Python, I cannot type today. Python and then API demo. All right, I have it pulled up here, and then we have to go to slash login. There we go, look at that. So it has the nav bar now because it inherited that from our template. Now we gotta go back to the problem that we had where this was our title. We can also do the same, have our own little block for title. So same thing, we're gonna have the squiggly braces and the percent signs, and this is gonna be block title because we're gonna name it that, it makes sense. Whoops. Okay, and then an end block. And then the same thing here. We'll go back to our login.html. And you can put it above or below. It doesn't really matter as long as it's in between the block uh, and the name of that particular block. Um, but I'm just going to put it above so it makes sense if we look back. Because the title in our base.html is actually above where block content is. That just makes sense to me. Okay, so we can do block title. I'll just do the same as I did before, copy and paste that. We'll take out title and put end in front of block. And then here is just where we're going to put in the text for our title. We don't need the, the tag or anything, right? Because the block is inside of the title tag, so we don't have to include that. That's already there. We just have to include the text. So for this, I'm just going to put login. And then now the theory is, if I refresh, this title, as you can see, changed to login. What's also nice is we don't have to link that um, reference to Bootstrap anymore in every single document. We now have our reference to, and any CSS that we might have, let's say we have a CSS sheet, um, if we wanted to go that route, though, in, in Flask there's an easier way uh, to add CSS, and we'll talk about that in a future video, but just to think about things that you can do, you can actually add CSS in the head up here, and you don't have to in each individual HTML page anymore. So with stuff like JavaScript, or um, maybe if we put a uh, an image, or I think it's called a favicon up here, where the title is, some kind of icon. Um, we don't need to do that with each individual HTML file anymore. We have this base skeleton, and then we add what we need to without repeating ourselves in every other HTML form. So I think this is pretty powerful, and this is something we're definitely going to use. And in the next video, I will uh, I'll probably make more use of the navigation bar, and we can work with that. And um, maybe I will create some kind of favicon so we can have that for our web app too. And anyway, hopefully you, hopefully you guys found this useful, and um, this is pretty powerful stuff, really. This is. We're, we've been going a long way so far. I hope you guys have been keeping up with me, and uh, I hope to see you in the next one.